This is a quick tutorial on how to add your own page or site to our website. So the first thing you're going to get do is go to apptog.net and log in. Then you want to make sure that you are at the right location. If I wanted to add a new site to the Crescent High School page, then I'm going to choose that site at the top. And instead of going to platform where I'm going to where I could do a live feed or a news event um, or add any document, what I want to do now is go to CMS. So from CMS, it's going to pull up your website, but what you'll notice the difference is you're going to have this little black arrow. So if I wanted to add a page for, um, let's think, the Travel Club, maybe I'll go down to Organizations, and I'm going to add a little a plus sign here underneath Organizations, and I'm going to make a page, and I'm going to call it Travel Club. And then I can choose how I want it laid out. So I'm just going to choose two column page so that you can see how that works. And I'm going to add this page. Once you add the page, first you want to make sure that it's located in the right place. Um, I added Travel Club. Looks like I already had a Travel Club. So here's where my Travel Club is. Um, and that's fine because it's still under Organizations. So if I want to edit um, the main part, I can click there. If I want to edit the left side, I will click on the left, and then you'll see a plus sign show up at the bottom. So from here, let's say I want to add some text. You can click this little arrow, tiny little arrow in the top left to make that sidebar go away. So I'm going to say, um, upcoming trips. We are going to Barcelona. May 2020. Check out our tour here. So if I want to put a link, whoops, I'm going to select the word I want to link, and click on our link, insert link, and actually I've got it pulled up. Here's a link to the Barcelona tour. So I'm going to link it there and I definitely want it to go in a new tab. So I'm going to hit insert and I'm finished with that one. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. And now you kind of have to go back to this little arrow to start editing again. So now I'm going to edit more. Um, this time I'll add to the main. So I'm going to add a plus sign and let's do a gallery of pictures. Already got some pictures saved. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to name this Italy. Hit save. So now I have a gallery that's going to show up in the main portion. All right. Let's edit some more. I'm going to click on this little arrow again. I'm going to edit main. I'm going to click on the plus sign. Oops. And I want to add some text. And this time, I want it to say, check out, let's see, pictures from our 2018 trip to Italy. I don't want any content. I'm just going to hit save. And so I have that somewhere. It'll show up somewhere. Possibly. <laughs> Let's see. It, here's the HTML block. So I'm going to click on this HTML block. There it is. Right, let's, let's try this. I just want to see how it's going to turn out. So now we have the HTML block and we also have a gallery block. If I wanted to rearrange this, I could click it and drag it down, but it is where I want it to be, so I'll leave it up there. Um, and you can continue adding in that way. So if I wanted to add you know, an image, then I would choose my image. And I could put a caption on it or not. Now it is going to require you to name this image for ADA compliance. So I'm going to put Italy 1. Continue adding in that way, and when I'm finished, it automatically saves. So we should be able to go to our website. Here, let me go to Crescent. Menu. Organizations. Here's the new Travel Club. Now you can see our page. You should start scrolling through the picture check out our links to make sure they work, and it does. And let me know if you have any questions.